I'm Tom Anderson, and this is part four of my simulation series, the NG Spice Input Deck. Now we're going to look at NG Spice. And to take a first look at it, we're going to run NG Spice in the netlist form. And I'm running on Ubuntu. Uh, it's version 14.04 .04. and one of the things I really like about Ubuntu is that it has ng spice in the software center so I just go here and I type ng spice in the little search box and it offers me up a nice spice circuit simulator in a very easy to install uh, way I already have it installed so I'm not going to do it again then when I pick up a terminal I can see where it installed it no surprise there CD to a directory where I'm going to do some work and I'm going to work directly in a text file and so I'm going to make a file called rc.cki I have a title card so you got to think about spice files as decks of punch cards because it's more fun Imagine that you had a deck of punch cards. You don't want them to all blow around in the breeze, and so you'd probably put a rubber band around your punch card deck or put them in a nice box. And then on the top of your deck of cards, you would put a label. And so the first card has the label on it, and so you would see this typed along the top of the punch card. So it's a good idea to put an asterisk there. Um, it's not required. Uh, it's going to be a title here anyway. The nice thing about making it a comment is that if we ever want to include this file in another file, the title would make a syntax error, or it would make a really weird component. The second line here, I'm setting up a voltage source. So this is the voltage source with reference designator V1, and it's going from net VN to ground. Zero is a special net name for ground, and that's a global, and... Uh, spice works that way and I want an AC voltage source so this is a parameter kind of like a value except it's really a type because I could have different types like tra various transient sources like PWL and uh, the ones we looked at earlier in this case this is a frequency domain source with one volt and then I have a resistor going from that input node to the output. So this is the same circuit that we saw before in LT Spice. So it just has a series resistor of value of 1K and then a, a capacitor at the output to ground. And there's the global ground net of 1.59U, my interesting value. And then I have commented out here, because uh, it starts with an asterisk, uh, the trend statement. AC tells it uh, we want to run an AC analysis and we have our source set up to be an AC analysis and it's a log sweep and so in log sweeps we have two choices we can uh, go by octaves or we can go by decades and I like to go by decades so this option is spelled DEC and these these options are all position dependent you know where they are is what they are these have to be over on the in the first column. You can't have like extra white space or something like that. Well, maybe you can in some dialects of spice. There's always variations. But in the standard uh, spice, column one has in it your type of uh, component. And then you finish this up as a, some sort of reference as in here. It could have letters. Like I could do that if I wanted. But... I have regular reference designators, and then I go in AC 41 points per decade from 10 hertz to 100 kilohertz. So all these commands that start with a dot, I believe, are called directives, spice directives. Uh, the last one is a dot end. And so that ends the deck. And so you could also imagine if you had a deck of punch cards, um, if you forgot some of them and left them back in your room uh, and you ran the deck, uh, you'd want to get an error. It says, oh, you're not playing with the full deck. So uh, that dot end would indicate the end of the simulation file. 